Oh boy, did you catch the news about Diddy? It's been blowing up everywhere. Yeah, turns out both his pads in LA and Miami got hit in raids this week. Hey, did you hear about what's going down with Diddy? Yeah, his cribs in LA and Miami got raided thanks to some warrant from the Southern District of New York. And let me tell you, that district's got a crazy win streak in court, like 98 to 99%. So if they're coming for you, best believe they've been keeping tabs for a hot minute. Now, some folks are speaking up about it. Candace Owens chimed in, and even Suge Knight dropped a tweet from behind bars. Suge's saying, the feds weren't really after Diddy. They're sniffing around for bigger fish. Seems like they're painting Diddy as a scapegoat in this whole trafficking mess they've been chatting about. And you know what set this whole thing off? Cassie's lawsuit, man. That thing was a whopping 35 pages with a trigger warning and spilled all the tea about freaky stuff. It sparked off a whole bunch of other lawsuits too. Cassie suing Diddy was like straight out of a movie. She filed a lawsuit in federal court accusing him of some heavy stuff, like making her do all kinds of things, causing her harm, and a whole decade of a starting when she was just 19. So Cassie, who used to be signed to Diddy's label, Bad Boy Records, is throwing down some serious allegations. She's talking sex trafficking, human trafficking, battery, you name it. Says Diddy was controlling her life since they met in 2005. Once she signed with his label, it was like he had her on lock, controlling everything from her apartment to her medical records. And get this, she even says he targeted rapper Kid Cootie because of her. But wait, it gets crazier. After Cassie filed the lawsuit, more people came forward with their own stories about Diddy and his alleged misconduct. Then, Homeland Security got involved, raiding his properties in LA and Miami over some sex trafficking case. So what's Diddy accused of exactly? Cassie's lawsuit paints him as this classic luring her in with promises of protection and then trapping her in this messed up relationship. She says he used intimidation tactics like wrecking cars and threatening people to keep her quiet. And get this, she claims he forced her into these freaky encounters with other dudes while he watched and filmed. Insane. Now, about that settlement, Diddy and Cassie worked things out behind closed doors, settling the lawsuit just one day after it was filed. They're keeping the details under wraps, but you gotta wonder what went down in those negotiations, right? But hey, props to Cassie for speaking up. With the Adult Survivors Act in New York, she had a chance to hold Diddy accountable for his actions. It's a messy situation, but at least she's taking a stand. After Cassie dropped her lawsuit, more of them just came raining down on Diddy. It's like a full-on storm of allegations hitting him left and right. Five more people came forward with similar claims against Diddy. One of them is this producer dude named Lil Rod, who's suing Diddy for sexual and sex trafficking, among other stuff. He says Diddy's whole bad boy setup was like a criminal enterprise that didn't look out for its own people. And then there's this woman who's claiming Diddy and his crew did her wrong when she was just 17 after trafficking her across state lines. And it doesn't stop there. Over Thanksgiving weekend, Diddy got hit with two more lawsuits for sexual assault plus another one for negligence and workplace violence. One of these cases accuses him of drugging and assaulting someone, then filming it like some sick revenge plot. Another one goes way back to the 90s, accusing him and some other dude of serious sexual violence and assault. King Los was sitting in the back. Okay. And then when we got to the hotel, um, it got even worse. And um, he like, he like tried to, he took one of my, sh heels and try to throw it at me and then he like like mush my face and like really hard and made my nose bleed but wait, there's even more. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Gina Huin, spilled some tea in an interview, accusing him of straight-up abuse, like stomping on her stomach and punching her. She says he'd compare her to Cassie and make her feel like crap. And check this out, even his former personal chef sued him, saying he sexually harassed her and didn't pay her properly. She claimed he'd make her serve food to him and his buddies right after they finished hooking up while they were butt naked. Like, what the heck? So yeah, it's no wonder the feds decided to raid his places in LA and Miami. They're sniffing around for some alleged sex trafficking business. Candace Owens had her say too, hinting that this raid ain't about Diddy at all. It's about the big shots behind him. You can let your imagination run wild, figuring out who those might be. Candace Owens is making some waves in the political commentary scene, ain't she? She's known for her super right-wing views, and some of her take can be pretty out there. But hey, there's a whole bunch of folks who hang on to her every word, especially the same crowd that got behind Trump in 2016. Lately though, Owens has been dipping her toes into the hip-hop world, and she's got Diddy in her 
crosshairs. We're never going to believe this, guys. And yes, they used Hollywood. Remember all of the actors and actresses rolling up their sleeves bravely. She's been throwing shade left and right, even suggesting that Michael Jackson's death and Diddy's alleged actions are connected somehow. And get this, she's saying it's even bigger than the whole Jeffrey Epstein mess. Talk about stirring the pot. Now, with Diddy's homes getting raided in Miami and LA, everyone's glued to this saga. And of course, Owens couldn't resist chiming in with her two cents. She's spouting off about how Diddy's just a pawn in a bigger game, set up to take the fall while the real players stay hidden. It's like straight out of a conspiracy theory, but hey, Owens ain't the only one thinking this way. The whole Diddy drama's got the hip hop world buzzing and nobody knows how it's gonna play out. But wait, there's more drama. Young Miami, Diddy's ex, got dragged into this mess too. She's allegedly listed as one of Diddy's ladies of the night in some lawsuit by Lil Rod. He's saying Diddy's crew, including Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy, were getting cash or wire transfers from some guy named Robin Greenhill. Lil Rod spilling the tea, claiming these parties had underage folks sipping on alcohol, making the whole scene super sketchy. But she's also being accused of smuggling drugs for Didster, according to some new details added to this lawsuit filed by Lil Rod. So this lawsuit, worth a whopping $30 million, claims that Diddy was all about this stuff called pink cocaine, or 2CB, or Tootsie. It's like a mix of ecstasy and coke, real shady stuff. Apparently, Diddy was getting this from some dude named Brendan Paul, but when he forgot to bring it, Young Miami stepped in as the hookup. According to court documents, Diddy was getting his party on before a big gig at the Something in the Water Festival, where he was set to perform with Pharrell. And get this, Lil Rod claims he saw Diddy snorting lines in his dressing room like it was no big deal. But wait, there's more. Lil Rod's lawsuit goes on to accuse Diddy of sexually assaulting him while they were working on an album. He's saying Diddy was all handsy and trying to pressure him into some messed up stuff. Now, Diddy's been denying all these allegations left and right, but with his homes getting raided by agents from Homeland Security, things are getting real serious. His lawyer's out here calling it a witch hunt, but who knows what's really going down. Suge Knight gave us his two cents on what might be the case here for Diddy. Suge has been throwing some major shade at Diddy, warning him his life's in danger. Knight dropped this bomb in an audio clip from his podcast calling out Diddy, or as he still calls him, Puffy. Hey, what Puffy? Your life's in danger. Cause you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participating in? So, you know they're gonna get you if they can. I turn myself in. Sometimes you gotta face the music. That's most of the time. Oh yeah, by the way, do not do your time going by Brother Love. Brother Love is not a good code name for prison. Suge Knight ain't holding back, saying that Diddy's arrest is a bad look for hip hop. He's even telling Diddy to turn himself in, like he did back in the day. But then he drops this bomb about some secret room and how Diddy better watch his back. And get this, Knight's even got some advice on Diddy's prison nickname. Yeah, he's saying Brother Love ain't gonna cut it behind bars. Sounds like Knight's been cooking up some real drama from his cell. But wait, there's more. Knight's been holding this grudge against Diddy for ages, going back to some party in Atlanta in the 90s. And you know the whole East Coast versus West Coast beat? Yeah, that's just adding fuel to the fire. With Diddy's homes getting raided and all these allegations flying around, it's like a real-life soap opera. And now, folks are talking about justice finally catching up with Diddy. Man, this whole thing's like straight out of a movie. Aaron Dyer, the lawyer for Diddy, finally stepped up and spoke out about the whole drama that went down just over a day ago. Dyer straight up called out the authorities for going way overboard with their military-style raid on Diddy's homes. He's saying there's no excuse for the crazy show of force and hostility they brought. And Get this, he's even standing up for Diddy's fam and crew, saying they got treated like crap during the whole ordeal. Dyer made it clear that Diddy wasn't thrown in cuffs or nothing, but he still had to chat it up with the cops. Despite all the gossip floating around, Diddy and his crew ain't been slapped with no cuffs, and their travel plans ain't been messed with. Dyer's slamming the whole thing as a witch hunt, saying it's just a bunch of baseless accusations flying around in them civil lawsuits. Diddy's world has been turned upside down with all this drama, but you know what? The story's far from over. From raids to lawsuits to war warnings from behind bars, it's like a real-life soap opera in the world of hip-hop. But hey, stay tuned, cause you know we'll be keeping you updated on all the twists and turns. Whether it's Diddy's legal battles or the latest gossip from the music scene, we've got you covered. Also, don't forget to check the next video.